present and future generations of all our citizens. Our tree cover and forests sit at the heart of this commitment, both in terms of protection and conservation, and also with respect to enhancement and protection of all our environmental assets. I find it important to share this context with you and especially with the graduates. If anyone told you, young people standing before me today, that your job is a routine occupation, they are very mistaken. You enter our national economic transformation equation as the people's trustees and guarantors of fundamental constitutional mandates and custodians of our forest value chain, which comprises critical resources and essential community assets. Our lives and livelihoods depend on the protection and sustenance of our biodiversity and the mitigation of climate change. You are therefore expected to be drivers of our national landscape and ecosystem restoration program and lead our organizations, communities, and especially the young people in making sure that our ambition to grow 15 billion trees by 2030 is actualized. Wacha nirudie kwa Kiswahili ili tuelewane. Tumekubaliana ya kwamba majukumu mnayoenda kuchukua kutoka leo sio majukumu ya ajira peke yake. Ni majukumu ya muhimu katika kuhakikisha ya kwamba matatizo ya kubadilika kwa hali ya mazingira yanashughulikiwa azma yetu kama taifa kupanda miche bilioni 15 inatimia na vile vile tunapata nafasi kama taifa kutumia rasilimali zetu za misitu kuongeza nafasi za ajira na vile vile kuzalisha uchumi wa taifa letu la Kenya kwa kuhakikisha ya kwamba rasilimali zetu za misitu inatumika katika kutengeneza furniture ya taifa letu la Kenya na kuhakikisha ya kwamba vijana wetu wanajumuishwa katika nafasi za ajira ikiwemo mpango wetu wa nyumba elfu miambili kila mwaka tutahitaji rasilimali nyingi ambazo zitatumika kutoka misitu yetu mimi nataka niwaeleze ya kwamba kazi mnayochukua ni ya muhimu sana katika taifa letu la Kenya and as the largest ever to graduate from this institution you are aware of our firm commitment to develop adequate capacity to keep illegal logging, charcoal burning, and other forms of unlawful encroachment and interference with the integrity of our forests at bay. This commitment extends to training and equipping of personnel and investing in technology to improve operational capabilities in surveillance data collection, and evidence-based forest management. I encourage you, therefore, to go forth as patriotic servants of the people of Kenya and to render your professional service with discipline, dedication, diligence, and unyielding integrity. Let me repeat, unyielding integrity. I remind you to use every opportunity to promote sustainable practices and urge you to always exercise your authority responsibly and accountably. And let me say this for the record. Um, 
my sons and daughters, the young people of Kenya, as you graduate today, that you have a huge responsibility on your shoulders. But I am confident that the training that you have received in this institution and your personal selection into this great army of forest rangers is merited. And therefore, I have the highest expectation